Ndibainde wono greetings to you all. This is uh, Dibia Wangu Chendo. Uh, first off, let me greet my Izumezo and Oramwa. I am on a balloon and I can't get away. Izumezo and Oramwa ni ne sumbiwa. I can't get away. Ndi chie uku ni chie nta. Chie mwoke na wain. Kanye chie nazere. Eh, agu mba rabu na agu eke ne kwe mu. Wena ase, ndi mbu na ndi agere na me eke ne kwe. Niko ye chinyo zero, oma kamebe la anye. Aibu yiru ka ibu temma, aibu azu ka ibu temma. Onye si ni vanya ne me agare mwe isi. Asi mi oran mwa ju kwa ni aivanya meli ya. Oka wanguro, asi nyan wola ana. Zele mmele. Eh? Wena ase. Nudo bige do. Awele ga abon kani. Oganiru ga abon kani. Mbulienu ga abon kani. Manai ga akuwa kwa kani oto jido gunofo. Ha? Nujofo gana. Ovri ni ema juive. Ena si iva ma biyala ge wakwa. Anishi wwa nankama. No onye meli iva ma ki iva ma ya biyalo. Ha? No de nane cholo ndi oma. Ndi oma ndi oma ndi ndozi. Ndi na da wae wo, ndi jye zo kwe jye, na ndi yo de na na cholo. Ase mo, ka na ya ni de aso gozi ya ni, gozi ya kalaka ya ni ufu na ufu. Ka ngo kole lo na eke uri ya fon kwa. Se, today I'm going to talk about the cleansing bath, spiritual cleansing bath, you know. If you want to do this every month, the best way it will be effective is on every new moon of every month. Now, if you want to know every new moon of every month, every first Thursday of every month, that is the new moon. You take advantage of that. You can do this cleansing bath for seven days, you know, non-stop. Seven days, you will get what you want. Don't do it and break it off. Don't uh, indulge in sex. No fighting, no quarreling. All right? If you want to get anything from the spiritual, please, you have to keep the spiritual code. You have to keep the spiritual ethics. No sex. All right? In whatever form it is. So you keep yourself pure to achieve what you want. Now, you are going to get one spiritual perfume. If it is divine grace that you like, get it. If it's sis flower, you get it. If it is bintel uh, sudan, you get it. If it is holy Michael, you get it. If it is seven seven, just one spiritual perfume. Get sand from the place where you live. The sand of where you live, just a pinch like this. Get it. Then get ash. Ntuala. Ash from the fireplace. Eh, where they have finished cooking, get that ash. Get scent leaf. You can get a bunch. I think they tie it 50 50 naira. For the, that seven days, you calculate it. It's going to be, I think, 350. 50 50 naira for each day. Then you get bitter leaf. All right? The way it is tied in bunch. I think that one is sold for 100 naira. You can divide it into two. You just know the bunch. Of leaf that will be enough, the bunch of bitter leaf that will be enough for you to bathe consecutively for that seven days. All right, get sea salt, the one that comes in cubes. All right, in crystal, sorry, not cubes. You can take like four feet or just one, depending on how you buy it. Of course, you have to be frugal, you have to be economical. I don't teach you spirituality so that you start wasting money up and down. All right. The people that can do this cleansing bath is if you want to get ready for that month. If you want to reap the benefit, the spiritual benefit of that month, you get, you do this spiritual bath. If you are finding things difficult for you, this spiritual bath is for you. For open doors, for favor, upliftment, job, whatever you are seeking for. It's a road opener. It's a door opener, this spiritual bath. Now, what are you going to do? When you get all this items use alligator pepper and cleanse them because of the kind of hand you know that touched it you don't know whether the pe person is under menstrual flow 
or whether the person is operating on another spiritual realm that is on the negative side. All right? You cleanse it. Use uh, uh, four seeds of Oswaji signifying the four market days. You cleanse it off from every negativity, every uh, 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 spiritual uncleanliness. You throw it in, into the dustbin, all right? You cleanse yourself to get another uh, seeds of Oswaji and cleanse yourself. Now you get a big pot, a very big pot. This pot, the water you put inside will be enough for you to take your bait. Are you listening? You are not going to add any more water once you boil this. Now, you get that onubu leaf, the bitter leaf, and the scent leaf. Some call it in chuan, And you put it together in, into that pot of water, that big pot of water. Please don't wash it too before boiling it. Just put it into the pot like that and boil for 15 minutes. After you have boiled it for 15 minutes, then bring it down. Pour it into an iron bucket for it to cool down. If you don't have an iron bucket, please leave it in that pot. Once it cools, you now pour it into the main bucket that you used to do take your bath. All right? You can boil it by 6 p.m. in the evening. When it gets to 9, 9 p.m. that evening, that is, you are ready for that spiritual bath. 9, 10, 11, 12. That is the best time to take that spiritual bath. And once you take that spiritual bath, don't go out again. All right? Don't remove those leaves from that water that you boil because you are going to use it as your sponge. All right, then add a pinch of sea salt. If it's three or four seeds, please drop it inside. Add a pinch of that ash. Add a pinch of that sand that you have gotten. Then you get the spiritual perfume. Once you open it, you pour the perfume in the cap, in the cover of that perfume. Fill it to the brim, then pour it inside that water. I told you, you can use divine grace, miracle, divine favor, holy Michael, seven, seven, anyone. All right, you pour it inside, then you remove your seal pass when you are ready. When is that nine? Go into the bathroom, remove your seal pass, stand barefoot in that bathroom, dip, dip the, 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 the right side of your finger, the, the middle, all right, of your finger inside the water and say what you want. If you say this water should be water for purif purification, for cleansing, for blessing, for favor for breakthrough to grant you success in your interview anything you want in your marketplace that once you go a visitor a uh, 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 customer should come you know they should favor you have want to make massive sales anything you so desire dip this your finger you see it as i'm with it now right inside that bucket begin to proclaim begin to declare begin to affirm begin to state your intention after that you remove your hand then you now use uh, whatever you use to pour water on you. Use it to scoop the water, pour on yourself. Then use those leaves to scrub from your head down to your toe. Now, the clause here is, if you have a weaver, you have to remove it. Just weave your hair. Or if you have short hair, fine. That water must touch the, the, your, the sole of your head. The, whatever it is you call it. It must touch your scalp. That water must touch it. The sponge, which is the onubu and the scent leaf, you will use it, you know, to sponge your body, your face right down. As you are saying it, as you are rubbing it, keep saying your intention, keep declaring it, keep saying it, keep saying it, what you want. All right. From that 9, 10, 11, 12, that is when you can take that to a spiritual bath. As you, you rub it right round down to the sole of your feet, you drop those leaves there right in that bathroom then you pour water you use it and bait all right don't clean your body just allow it to air dry don't ever clean your body stand there let it air dry then put on a white cloth if you have a white nut gown wear it if you have a white gown you wear it it's always good to put on white because of its spiritual significance it attracts positivity all right it makes you more spiritual it stands for peace there is no power that will withstand that white, all right? Whenever you dream, as you put on that white and go to your bed, take note of your dream. Dreams are ways that if you are doing spiritual work or a DBI is working for you, it is used to monitor that work, to know whether it's going well. 
to know whether there is something else that is going to come up. It's not only through Afa that we get to know the problem and the solution. Do you understand? It might make your spiritual guide to come out and send you messages. If there is something you are supposed to do, you know, for your way to clear up, that spiritual battle during that time, it will be revealed to you. Even the enemy that is against your progress will be revealed to you. A lot will be revealed to you. That is why after spiritual bath, you don't have to go out anymore. Don't go out. No noise. Get into your room on your bed and sleep. When you do this for the straight seven days, I bet you that your life will turn around. Every difficult situation will become easy. Alright? That is how you start off a new month. It's very, very good. And mind you, no quarreling, no fighting, no sex. All right? Because why I say you should avoid sex is that it can bring a setback to that spiritual assignment. When I mean spiritual, it is spiritual work. I didn't say it's sexual work. So you get it right. That is it. Don't add any more water once you boil that big pot of water that is enough for you to take your bed. All right? Don't forget to add every other items. I bet you this is tested, trusted, and confirmed. This is what I use mostly for those people who come to me whose aura is so dark that even to do alpha for them is difficult. All right? They, they use it and cleanse themselves first before they come to me. Or if they are far away and I'm still doing their spiritual work, I will put them on that because I can't be doing spiritual work for you. You'll be enjoying yourself frolicking, going for parties, you know, grooving and frolicking. It's not good. You have to key in if a spiritualist is working for you, if a DBA is working for you. Are you listening? So you have to key in. This is how I do it. Even if you are in diaspora, you have to key in why I'm doing your spiritual work for you. I bet you your spiritual work is just one touch. If we find one in our choice, I hope I have enlightened you and I have taught you this so you take note of it. If there is any uh, question you have to ask me, please, after watching the video, you drop your comment. I will also want you to invite your friends to like my YouTube channel, DBM1 Guru channel. Please like and subscribe, all right? Thank you for watching. Bye.